And welcome to NerdStalker. I am Adolfo Ferranda at NerdStalker on Twitter, NerdStalker TV on YouTube. Okay, so today we're going to run through a review by screen recording application that is free. It's actually a Chrome extension called Loom, L-O-O-M. And uh, the URL is useloom.com, useloom.com. The big dog in this space is ScreenFlow, right? And that's like $150 roughly US around that range as of this recording um, for that particular application. Loom is free. Now Loom is uh, obviously more limited, but it's totally free, unlimited recording time and uh, shareable, and you can st they store it in the cloud your videos, or you can download them, and you can post them to YouTube and share them on your social media, etc. So let's check it out. Okay, so in your, so here's Loom right here, the website, a one-click install, boom, and it would install on your uh, Chrome extension. There's a numerous case studies. You can use it for, you know, consulting. Initially, they sort of sold it as sort of an email, video email response reply kind of thing. Instead of using email, why not use video email? And then they sort of branched off in all these other use cases because the technology is so awesome. And uh, all these companies are using it, as you can see below. So you click to install, you record, and then you share, just as we mentioned above. Uh, really great reviews, and, and we're big proponents of it here at NerdStalker, too. They have all these case studies, and this one, is, uh, I believe, is leadership here, where they show you all these different sort of tutorials with they using Loom for team announcements, uh, walk through product demos, feedback, things like that. Uh, we've used them for all these type of things. You can use them, in, uh, and we'll click through here. So engineering, here's a bunch of them for bug tracking. Etc. Education and uh, customer success, consulting, product development, marketing. Uh, you see, it just goes on and on. All the use cases here. It's really wonderful. So this is the interface, your dashboard. After you've recorded a few, this is mine. And um, what you're seeing here is sort of like a folder structure, and you can create folders too. You can have a start area for your favorites. I put uh, my tutorials folder in here and uh, your, your other folders uh, down below in the folder section here. And then all of your videos sort of display here. There's always, you know, that help option down here. Okay, so let's start recording something. So I click on the Loom icon in Chrome up here. This is a Chrome extension as previously mentioned. Okay, so this is the interface for when you're recording with Loom. You have uh, options here. This is sort of the advanced settings. You can hide the advanced settings. Uh, you can do screen and cam. You can do your screen only. You can do the camera only. Uh, in addition, so let me show you here. You can select your camera. You could flip the camera if you want. Uh, just flipped it. Uh, and you can select various, if you have other inputs in terms of microphones, um, show and hide the control menu. That's these guys down here. And uh, your recording countdown would be the whole three, two, one thing. You can uh, show or not show. You also get notifications in this tab above here. It tells you how many views you had on your various sort of uh, videos, etc., or any other sort of notifications or, or no news and things like that. Of note also here is you can move this guy around. Uh, and you can change the size. So here's a small option. There's my, the medium option and the large option. Waiting for it to render. There we are. Then let's start the recording. And then here you have an option of your entire screen or an application window. We're going to select the entire screen for this scenario. Three, two. So here's the countdown. And we're recording now. And so you can also cancel your recording here. Uh, hide the menu, pause it, and then when you finish recording, you can hit this. Alt-Shift-L is the keyboard command. There are keyboard commands for Loom. There's no really annotations per se yet, uh, but obviously it shows my my cursor here that I'm moving around, so that's sort of the hack around it. And there's no real zoom feature uh, yet. So in what I do with the, with the MacBook Pro is I have a pinch you know, for zooming icon here. So if we need to zoom into this video, I can say, hey, look over here, or, you know, over here, and to zoom on NerdStalker right there, or something like that, right? So additionally, if we go to other applications, what you'll notice is that the my video icon down here of myself down in the corner here is gone. But luckily, it still records sort of what I'm doing. So right now I'm on a different application, I thought sex in this instance, and you can see what I'm doing. So for instance, if we add another node, uh, this is a loom review, 
uh, tutorial. You can see what I'm doing here, right? Basically, so it can record in other applications, but the video sort of of yourself disappears, unlike ScreenFlow, where it just captures the entire thing. Uh, because you got to remember, this is all happening in the cloud. So let's go back here. There I am again. Uh, if we go to other websites, you know, obviously captures that. And let's finish our uh, recording here. So I'll say uh, I'm happy with this recording. Hit finish recording. And what happens is it'll add the, the video. And then you see up here, we can name this to whatever. Let's uh, name it uh, Loom Review. And then, uh, so there's the title set. And here you see all the various options, right? So you can share it with, uh, copy the link, embed, social media, and email. It's amazing. You can make it a uh, private or public if you want. You can download the video and upload it to something like YouTube or whatever hosting site you prefer. You can do some basic editing in terms of trimming and things like that. And you can delete the video itself, obviously, right? And then you can, you know, move the video to your particular folder. You can add some more details down here if you want. Uh, details. La, 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 right? And I think it supports markdown, stuff like that. And additionally, what's really neat, let's, so let's play it for a little bit here on, you know, without any sound. And so this is what we were doing. If we jump ahead, let's say, or to a time here and we pause it 16 seconds in uh, and see that you can do the emoji thing too. Obviously, you know, at different parts here to pop up. Clever, clever. Uh, is so note the 16 seconds over here on the comments 16 seconds so if something eventful happened at this time eventful thing and then you hit uh, post and then you let it play and you want it this is for like your viewers if you wanted them to see something in particular or jump to a different area this is a really nifty little feature so 27 seconds in or whatever let's pause it here another thing another highlight This is if they're viewing it in Loom, they get this, right? And you post it. So your viewers can actually see this and say, hey, you know what? I'm really interested in this particular eventful thing that happened in 16 seconds in that, that pertains to my interest. They can click that, boom. And then you notice that here it jumped to, the video jumped to the 16 second mark. Uh, it happened really quickly, so I'll do it again. Boom, 16 seconds right there. So you see the 17, 18. So that's a really neat feature. So uh, we're really happy with Loom and Nurse Docker. We really like it a lot. We used it before we had ScreenFlow. So for getting really basic quick videos out without a lot of editing that you need to do or polishing up, it's a really handy thing in terms of speed or tutorials or showing coworkers how to do certain things. Uh, for supporting family members. I mean, you got to use a, a slew of use cases. I've used this with friends when they're having network issues to show them how things work on the Mac or whatever or various usage of, of different types of applications. So Loom, check it out. We really like it. Unlimited recording time, unlimited storage, video trimming, emoji reactions, as you, got, as you guys saw. Uh, keeps the video as long as you like. Totally free. And then pro features coming in the, in the future, they, they say. So we'll see. So right now, as of now, Loom is completely free. And uh, I, we highly suggest you go check it out. It's sort of no... You know, you got nothing to lose, really. So I am Adolfo Fronda. I hope you got some value out of this. At NerdStalker on Twitter. NerdStalker.com is the website. NerdStalker TV on YouTube. And a lot more to come. Thank you.